please be advised that what I am going to say here is only for education purposes and not meant to replace medical advice. I am not making any claims about any specific treatment's effectiveness. I just want to increase your awareness on the novel coronavirus and bust some myths and misconceptions regarding the disease. You should seek medical advice of your physician or otherwise qualified healthcare provider with questions you have regarding any medical condition. So let us talk about what is known about the novel coronavirus. Where did the virus come from and how does it spread? How COVID-19 compares to the diseases caused by other coronaviruses? How do we measure the severity of the disease? As you all must be knowing that viruses cannot stay alive outside the body and need a host to replicate their machinery. They are just a piece of RNA or DNA surrounded by a coat of protein called the capsid. The novel coronavirus belongs to a family of viruses known as coronaviridae. The word corona comes from Greek and it means spike-like projections just like a wreath, giving it the name due to its appearance. It was first discovered in the early 1960s. They mostly affect animals, rarely humans can get affected too when the virus evolves or mutates to affect the humans. Coronavirus causes a range of illnesses from a common cold that we know as the upper respiratory tract infections to severe disease known as severe acute respiratory illnesses comprising a spectrum of conditions from pneumonia to something known as acute respiratory distress syndrome or ARDS. Previous examples of diseases caused by other coronaviruses include SARS in 2002, MERS or Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome in 2012, both of which caused severe disease. The novel coronavirus, also called the SARS-CoV-2, causes a disease known as COVID-19. Now I would like to take a moment and resolve the confusion in the terms. The name of the virus is SARS-CoV-2, commonly known as the novel coronavirus, and the disease is abbreviated as COVID-19 in which CO stands for Corona, VI stands for the virus and D stands for the disease and 19 for the year 2019 when the first case was reported. Many early cases were associated with the seafood market in Wuhan, but the site of emergence is yet not clear. Some data suggests that the novel coronavirus is similar to those found in some bats. Coronaviruses are respiratory viruses replicating in the cells of the airways. It shows affinity to the cells of the airways because of its cellular tropism, having those spike-like projections which I mentioned before. The clinical presentation can be non-specific, showing just flu-like symptoms like in a common cold and is very difficult to differentiate it clinically from other causes of upper respiratory tract infections. The specific signs and symptoms are a medium to high-grade fever, a cough which is dry in nature, shortness of breath or dyspnea, and an early loss of sense of smell known as anosmia. There can be fatigue, malaise which is a feeling of generalized discomfort or uneasiness, myalgia or body ache, and other flu-like symptoms like joint pain, nausea, diarrhea which have been seen less commonly with the novel coronavirus. Now the severe presentation or the complications include what is known as the severe acute respiratory illness or SARI. It is a spectrum of conditions ranging from pneumonia to something known as the ARDS or acute respiratory distress syndrome. This is a condition which is likely to affect those who are elderly, in the extremes of age and who have other health problems like diabetes, hypertension, metabolic syndrome chronic heart diseases, chronic kidney disease, chronic liver disease, patients with cancer, HIV, organ transplants, and those who are taking drugs like corticosteroids. All these health problems have a common link, and that is they all have a weak immune system, which makes them more prone to complications. I will be talking about the other questions on the novel coronavirus in the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.